Hi everyone, long time no see. Um, I didn't have a video go up last week, did I? But I have just been so busy and I'm really sorry. Basically, in this video, I want to just talk to you a little bit about um, just how I've been feeling lately and just update you with some stuff, really. Um, we're going to talk about Vlogmas, we're going to talk about um, my new job and just lots of different things like that. But um, yeah, I'm sorry for not being around all of last week. I haven't even been around on Instagram. This last week, I've literally been in a kind of permanent state of panic, really, because I have just not had a minute um, that was like a minute unaccounted for. Um, and basically, I have started a new job. Um, I would say what it is, but I actually think that from what I remember, we were instructed not to massively share it online, not for any particular reason, because it is, it's just a retail job um, in sales. So um, I won't say exactly what it is, but I've started that. Um, I've completed, I'm on the third week now, actually. Um, and I found it very, very challenging at first. The first week required a fair bit of travel for training as well. So that was really, really exhausting. Um, and then last week was just kind of getting acquainted with things. Um, and it's very unlike any other job I've ever done in that it's very, very structured and it's, um, you kind of have to follow, not a script, but kind of guidelines and things like that. So it's very different. From what I'm used to because where I had worked before for example where I'd been there for like four years or whatever um, it was a small privately owned company I did front of house kind of stuff and it was so chilled like you know we didn't have to wear uni well we kind of did have to wear a uniform but it wasn't strictly observed um, and it was just a really chilled fun work environment and I was really close friends with everybody there so it was just really different and what happened with that was was that this was obviously before we moved to Wales um, before we um, yes before we moved I worked evenings mostly it was part-time um, and so I worked evenings and it was it, the job itself wasn't like, particularly challenging but it was a job that I could easily do and like I said I loved everybody that I worked with and all of that kind of thing and it was fine um, and I actually really do miss them and I miss kind of what a nice work environment it was not that where I am now isn't a nice environment but it's just very very different um, and I um, <clears throat> yeah Ugh, what am I even talking about basically um, yeah, uh, so that was part time. And it was mostly kind of afternoons and evenings, which meant that I had the morning to get other stuff that I needed to do done and like YouTube stuff and other stuff like that that I was doing as well. But um, then when we moved, I had a little job in just a like homeware store um, that was owned by somebody that I knew. I was doing that for a little, little while. All the meantime, restaurant stuff still going ahead like full steam, which is crazy, crazy busy. Um, and Paul's having to deal with the majority of that at the moment. So he's really, really busy doing all of that kind of thing. I'm trying to help out where I can with things like that. So like this morning, for example, I've been doing loads of admin stuff that we had to do related to to that we have solicitors forms that we need to sort out and um, take in and it's just like for example this morning um, we we were trying to deliberate what to do he's had to go to a meeting um, with the health inspector for the restaurant I was going to go but then we remembered that I'm actually one of us has to be here because there was a package for me for the gift guide that was from DHL and it was apparently a really big package and so we were someone had to be here to accept the package and so he had to go to the meeting but we did also need to go to the solicitors to drop off some paperwork but we hadn't finished the paperwork completely he still had to do his bit and he had to read through some of the bits I'd already read it this morning um, so then we were like okay and then I thought well I'll have to go and drop this paperwork off at the solicitors during my break tomorrow because it's close but the other thing about this new job that I'm really, really not used to is it is standing up for the whole time. So it's from quarter to eight in uh, quarter to nine in the morning till five thirty. You do get like a couple of breaks or whatever, but it is standing up the whole time, which 
I'm just not used to um, and you can't like wear shoes that are like super comfy like you can't wear trainers or anything you pretty much have to be in like smart shoes which are not the comfiest are they even if you wear flat smart shoes like so like ballet pumps or whatever not that I ever wear those anymore anyway but they're not comfy when you're standing for extended periods of time because your foot's completely flat if your foot's a bit more elevated that's not super comfy as well so I've been really really struggling with that because I'm just not used to it and none of my shoes are particularly like designed for that like they're not massively comfy shoes i'm somebody that is super i actually think maybe i need to go and get this checked you know because i'm somebody that i'm super comfy barefoot if i could be barefoot all the time that would be my favorite thing um and like i'm barefoot indoors not now i've got like socks and sort of like slippery type things on um but when it's when it's warmer i'm barefoot all the time so i always feel like shoes are not massively comfy for me for some reason but i also don't tend to wear unless it's like sandaly things or flip-flops in the summer i don't tend to wear flat shoes ever anyway um as well so that's probably part of the problem but it's difficult with smart shoes so if you've got any recommendations for smart boots that are um they can be flat but not like that look nice still that look smart that are really comfy that you can stand up for hours in please let me know um i did have a look at some of the clark's ones but they were a really expensive and b i didn't like any of them so um yeah i've been trying to sort of tackle with that because it's knackering so when you do get a break all you want to do is just sit down for a minute but even during my breaks i've got errands to run of like bank stuff that we need for the restaurant and paperwork and solicitors and stuff like that and we're trying to tag team it between the two of us but he's dealing with loads of like the construction side of it and all things like that so he's really really busy as well so I literally just feel like I don't have a minute where I can just not think about stuff that are on my to-do list and it's one of those things where it's just a never never ending to-do list and you think that it's all right when you've got a day at home so like today i've got a day at home but what's actually happened today is that i've still got loads of home stuff to catch up on, to catch up on because paul's doing the home stuff that he can do and let's be honest he doesn't do it like i do it i, I don't say this to him because i think like he's trying to but he boy cleans and it's not how I clean. And so my mum was saying to me the other day, you're just gonna have to let that go. You're gonna have to just like not worry about having everything clean and tidy around you because something's gotta give. You can't find time to be on top of everything. And I I agree with that. But then when I am at home and everything's messy around me, it makes me feel worse. It makes me feel like my mind is so just out of focus that I, I can't, I just, I'd rather it be nice. So then what ends up happening is when I have got spare time, I'm trying to keep on top of that kind of thing. Um, and this time of year in retail, if you work in retail, you'll know it's super, super busy, isn't it? So around Christmas time, for example, this is another thing. The week leading up to Christmas, I'm working seven days in a row. And then I've only got Christmas Day off and Boxing Day and I'm back. Christmas Day and Boxing Day um, are you know like boxing day i always think it's a bit naff anyway i'm not fussed about boxing day but christmas eve i am actually at work and it's a really really long shift and it's extra early in the morning as well and so there's been a little bit of kind of issues with what we're going to do with that because obviously before what would happen when we weren't living down here was we'd both save up some holiday and then we'd come down here for christmas we'd sleep at my mom's we'd spend christmas it was all really lovely but this year um a we're here anyway b i'm working on christmas eve till really late my mum lives closer by comparison to like you know hours and hours away like before but it's still 40 minutes away and i will finish work and i'll be exhausted i don't want to have to like even they sound so dramatic but like even having to pack a bag to take with us to sleep there is just another job that i need to do that i don't have time to do because it's like by the time you get home it's like six o'clock you have to sort this, like sort dinner out do stuff like that i need to catch up on like restaurant stuff that he's been doing during the day so that i'm in the loop so that i know what's going on shower wash my hair that's another thing you know like it doesn't help that i'm at me yet and that my beauty routine is like complicated and 
time consuming and I'm trying as best as I can to simplify it where I can like that's why my hair is not not styled today because I was just trying to cut corners and I've been getting up at seven o'clock every morning and that's not crazy early but the thing is it's dark still at seven o'clock because it's winter so I'm getting ready and it's practically dark and you just I look horrendous when I'm trying to get ready because it's I'm still sort of groggy and you want to be presentable and you do have to wear makeup and that kind of thing so you're just trying to kind of make it work and the thing is it has to be like you know makeup that will stay on because like today for example I did my makeup and it took me about five ten minutes but I just slapped on a bit of CC cream and all of that kind of thing which looks nice now and that's because I'm not going anywhere and I'm just filming but if I did have to do a whole day and make this makeup stay on my face from like 7 30 till 5 30 in the afternoon it wouldn't, the longevity is not there. So I have to use something else and like spend a bit more time doing it. Um, and so the, that's, that's what's been going on work-wise, restaurant-wise, everything like that. We were aiming um, for opening in February, but we'll be lucky if that still happens. I really hope it does, but we'll see. Um, the other thing was that um, Christmas is fast approaching, which makes things a little bit more complicated, doesn't it? Because I um, I really want to do vlogmas this year, and I asked on Instagram, and I had so, so many messages, like more than I could possibly imagine, of people saying, yes, please do, which was so nice. And so I really, really want to do it, but then people keep saying to me, you're overstretched as it is, you will not have time to keep on top of this. But I still want to try. Um, so what I think we're going to do vlogmas wise is, well first of all the gift guides. I want to run this past you. It's kind of going to be an interactive video but you know, I, yeah, I know you guys care what's what's going on kind of thing. Not in like a, in a weird way but um, so gift guides. We've got the main his and hers gift guide video, the under £25 gift guide video and the um, Stocking filler, stocking filler and under £10 gift guide. Okay, so I've got those. Um, and the only problem that I have is on um, next, so I'm still waiting for a couple of packages to arrive, so I can't film it today. Then I, I might possibly, maybe, if I get lucky, although I don't think I'll, I don't think I will, I might have time to film it on Thursday when I'm off work. But I don't think the packages that I'm waiting for will arrive till then. And so maybe I'm going to put the Christmas tree up on Thursday as well, which I wanted in the background. So we'll, we'll see how we'll see how things go with that. But maybe um, then th on the weekend, I have stupidly ages ago agreed to go to Liverpool for like a girls weekend with my mum and my sisters which is really nice and like ordinarily I'd be really looking forward to but it's two days because we're sleeping the night there of me having to be away and not doing stuff I actually need to do and I just then I feel really guilty as well for going because I feel like I've got an endless to-do list and I've still got loads and loads of stuff to do around the house like you know the house is nowhere near how I'd like it and I really want to get it sorted sooner rather than later because I know that once the business is up and running then like time will be short as well so I really want to try and do that, but it's just like there I, there aren't enough hours in the day for me to be able to do everything. And it's stupid things around the house, like it's all brick walls everywhere. So you can't put a nail in the wall because it just bends the nail. So I need to figure out a way to be able to hang things on the wall that are heavier than those like sticky Velcro pads, which is what I tend to usually use. Um, and just, just stuff like that that just I really want to tackle and to get everything nice and I want the house nice for Christmas especially because um, Paul's mum might be coming over for Christmas this year which is really special because since his dad passed away two years ago she hasn't really wanted to participate in Christmas she just found it kind of hard and you know that time of year kind of thing um, so she hasn't really wanted to but she did say to me when I spoke to her the other day that she was thinking about maybe coming down um, which will be really lovely but I just want everything to be nice for her and um, just you know to, I just can't be on top of everything I just I feel like uh, just 
Like I've got so many tabs open in my head and none of them want to close. And then I'll think, oh, I really need to sort out the, the, the thing in the spare room. I need to do that. I need to do this. I need to, oh God, like stupid things. Like a package arrived downstairs and it's come in a massive cardboard box, like huge, like a wardrobe sized box. It wasn't that big a thing. Well, there was a few things that were in, were in there, but the box was huge. And I'm like, now I'm gonna have to flat pack that box and find a way to get that to the recycling because it won't fit in our recycling. And just, I'm so like, oh, burnt out. But I want to do Vlogmas because I feel like it'll be like nice and festive and especially considering I'm working so much, I think I'll need it because it won't feel festive otherwise. I've never worked on Christmas Eve ever, which I know is a privilege, um, but I've always like saved my holiday from other times of year and stuff because I love Christmas so much. And this year, believe it or not, I'm actually not even fussed because it's just another thing for me to have to worry about. I'm like, oh, I have to wrap Christmas presents. <laughs> it's just another job. Oh, my never-ending job list. Um, but yeah, vlogmas-wise, what I'm going to do to make it a little bit easier for me, if you don't mind, is I'm going to put my tree up soon, but I'm going to film me doing it, um, and then I'll insert that footage into vlogmas day one, which is a Saturday, so the 1st of December is. I'm actually working on that day, but when I come home, We'll, we'll do that um, and I'll show you some Christmas decorations and stuff. I'll film a couple of Christmas hauls of stuff that I've got. Um, on the 3rd of December we're going to the Manchester Christmas Market um, which again we don't really have time to do and we're both going but we figured it was good vlogmas content and kind of Paul was quite up for the whole vlogmas thing which is unlike him as well so I was like okay we'll, we'll, we'll do that so that'll be nice. Um, gift guide wise what I'm thinking is depending on how much time I have, because I can't film when I come home at night because I'm filming on my crappy camera because my good camera's not back yet. The lighting just, I can only do it when it's natural daylight with my artificial lighting and this camera, it's just not gonna work. So I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is um, possibly try to get my, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try and film as many bits and bobs as I can on days when I've got off and when we've got Christmas things going on. I'll, um, in the middle of vlogmas as well, not every day will be a vlog. We'll have content every day, but it won't necessarily be a vlog. Maybe I'll do some of the gift guides and those. I know it's a bit late and I'm really sorry. It's later than I would like as well, but I, I, like there isn't, there's nothing I can do. Um, so maybe we'll, we'll, I'll do bits and bobs of that, different content in those. On that last weekend, on that last week though, when I'm away, I've got like a, not away when I'm at work, I've got advent calendars and stuff like that, so we can do that on some of the days and just little general chit chat. But I just want to make it clear that like not every day will be some Christmas extravaganza because on days when I'm at work, especially those like seven days in a row, I'll be, I won't be home till like six o'clock, so... It'll be like a quick chit chat what we're having for dinner kind of thing. I might just shove those days together because it might be boring for you, for you and you might not want to see. Um, but I'm going to aim as much as I can to have something up every day, whether it's a vlog or other content. I'm really going to try my absolute hardest. I'm giving you my word that I'm going to try. But just try and be a little bit flexible with me if I don't manage that or if I miss a day or things like that. Um, because it's just time. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below about the whole vlogmas thing and just time management. And if you have any time, any tips for ma making more time in the day, that's the other thing. I'm not sleeping particularly great as well because my mind's racing constantly. I've been trying to go to bed earlier and because I'm getting up at like seven o'clock, but I'm not sleeping very well either. So I'm really kind of running on empty, which isn't good, but it's temporary. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I love you all lots and I can't wait for Vlogmas and I'll see you soon. Bye.